am excited today to give you a glimpse of life here in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia. There's plenty of opportunity for people to live, work, and play, especially with all the new businesses and homes coming to the area. We're here with Natasha Nyack, one of the gallery hosts here at the Chrysler Museum. We are back in Franklin, Virginia today. We're headed out to Southern Virginia Beach to visit Equikids, the premier equine therapeutic riding facility specifically designed to use the comfort of horse-assisted activities. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my very, very favorite things, design. Welcome to the American Dream. I'm Cheryl Ann Whetstone, and I'm back as your host. Today we're headed out to Southern Virginia Beach to visit Equikids, the premier equine therapeutic riding facility specifically designed to use the comfort of horse-assisted activities to provide a soothing, healing bond to handicapped children, challenged veterans, and first responders that you can only get from these magnificent animals. I'd like to introduce you to Beth Hornby. She's the executive director here at Equikids. Hi, Sherilyn. Welcome to the Equikids classroom. Equikids is really blessed to have an indoor space. So sometimes when the weather is cranky and we need to bring our participants inside, our classroom is a wonderful multi-purpose room where we're able to do that. So for a lot of our ground-based instruction or our ground-based lessons, as we call them, we bring our students into the classroom. We're still able to have interactive learning activities. They might be learning about all the different tools that we use to groom their four-legged partners. Um, they might be learning the body parts of the horse. So there's all kinds of fun and engaging activities that we use this room for. So why do horses make such amazing partners for the Equikids program? Uh, that's one of my favorite questions that we get asked. So Equikids is lucky enough to have a herd of 18 therapy partners in our barn. And horses are sentient beings, so they're prey animals, they have fight or flight instincts, so a lot like humans, they respond to external stimuli much in the same way you or I would. If we're scared, if we're happy, if we're nervous, if we're fearful about something, we're going to have behaviors and emotions that trigger us, our horses respond the same way. So for our participants, we lovingly call them emotional tattletales because they help us as instructors and facilitators figure out what's really going on with our participant. We may have somebody that comes in that day and tells us, I'm fine and I don't need help today. And as they start engaging and interacting with their horse, through the horse's behavior, we're able to pick up on the fact that maybe that participant isn't okay. The horse often pulls out of our participants what we're needing to hear to help facilitate a really good lesson. So our participants on average are served between 80 to 120 participants on a weekly basis. And on an annual basis, Equikids provides services for between six and 800 participants. So we need always need a lot of helping hands on the property with our volunteers. On average, it takes three volunteers to provide services to one participant. So three times 120, tons of helping hands we need on site to be able to deliver our programs and services. <laughs> So how can you be a volunteer if you don't have any horse experience? Sure, so that's one of the great things about Equikids Volunteer Program. You don't need any experience to become part of our family. Equikids provides all of the training on site and all of our volunteers start out with an orientation which acclimates them to our center, all the different roles that they can step into, and then they learn how to be a sidewalker, which is directly assisting our participants. So they walk alongside the horse, directly supporting the participant during their lesson. So they become that participant's cheerleader, safety squad. They get to become part of the journey of helping that participant reach all of their goals. And they get to have fun in the process, which is the best part. Through um, a lot of years and dedication and looking at how we can uh, impact our community on a greater basis, we decided to expand to serve adults. And more importantly, uh, we were able to launch our Equivets Military Service Program, which provides all of our services to 
both active duty service members as well as veterans. And then in 2019, we were actually to expand even further and we were able to launch our Equa Heroes program, which serves local first responders. So we fundraise 100% of the costs associated with those programs so that both our military and community heroes can gain access to any of the services that we provide at no cost. Thank you so much. Oh, it was for, a pleasure, Sherilyn. Yeah. We appreciate your support, and it's always great to get to connect with you. Virginia, and Virginia Beach in particular, is a tremendous place to settle down, raise a family, and enjoy life. As we like to say it here in my state, Virginia is for lovers, and Virginia Beach loves you right back. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Until next time, keep living the American dream.